Here, we're asked to simplify the square root of 98. The difference with this example is that 98 is not a perfect square. In other words, it's impossible to find a whole number times itself which equals 98. However, it's important to understand that the square root of 98 can still be simplified. To understand how, let's take a look at the problem from the previous example, the square root of 25. Since 25 factors as 5 times 5, the square root of 25 is 5. In other words, since we have a pair of factors that are the same, one of these factors, in this case a 5, can come out of the radical. So the square root of 25 is 5. The same technique can be used to simplify the square root of 98. Notice that 98 factors as 2 times 49 and 49 factors as 7 times 7. So we have a pair of 7s in our factor tree. This means that a 7 can come out of the radical. And notice that we have a 2 in our factor tree that doesn't pair up. This means that a 2 stays inside the radical, which gives us 7 times the square root of 2. So the square root of 98 simplifies to 7 root 2.